So recently I went on a mission trip to Panama and I want to thank all of you for helping make that possible. While I was in Panama, our medical team helped over 730 people. They would come to the clinic, be examined by doctors, and the doctors would write a prescription and send it to the pharmacy where I worked. I would then uh, take it out to the patient and explain to them what the drugs are for, how much to take, and when to take them. While I was working in the clinic, we had a group that um, helped with construction projects in the area. One big thing that we did was um, <clears throat> installing water filters. The same way we helped their, their physical need by giving them clean drinking water, we also helped their spiritual need by giving them the living water, which Jesus talks about in John chapter 4. We had VBS for the kids, and we helped with a gospel meeting at some of the local churches. We had several people do um, Bible studies with, lo with locals. Um, we are all in need of the living water, the gospel of Christ, the good news, that he came to earth, he gave himself for us, he, de he defeated sin and death, he rose again, he allowing us to be reconciled to God. We accept this opportunity by hearing the gospel of Christ in Matthew 11:15, Romans 10, 14, believing John 20, 30, and 31, repenting Luke 13, 3, confessing that Jesus is the Son of God, Matthew 10, 32, being baptized, Mark 16, 15 through 16. Following baptism, Romans 6, 4 tells us that we are to walk in the newness of life. This newness of life is the Christian life. We are to live righteously, Colossians 3, 1 through 4. If we stumble, we need to confess our sins and pray to God for forgiveness. If our sins are of a public nature, we need to publicly come and confess our sins to be re restored to the body of Christ, Galatians 6, 1. If you have need, please come while we stand and sing.